Hey guys, welcome to another stream here. Let me see, I think it's working, yeah. Okay, so I haven't actually streamed in a little while, so I may, like, have a couple settings wrong. But everything should be okay. Let me just check to make sure it's alright. Um, yeah, I think we're fine. So, yeah, the... What we're going to be doing in the stream is just continue working on the castle. Uh, we made it over to that pillar, was the last one we built. So we're just going to continue along this way and then uh, finish all of them. So, hey. Um, yeah, so first thing we probably want to do is just dump the stuff we don't need in here. Like, we don't need our axe or hoe. Don't need that. Um, probably don't need that right now. Don't really need my bow. And, uh, that's probably it. Let me just make sure everything's working. I don't want anything to be broken. Um, all right. Give me one second, guys. Okay, um, everything should be working now. Alright, okay, cool. So, yeah, now we just need to dump some of the stuff out in the chest so our inventory's clear, but I think it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I think everything's working. Uh, I'll just put some music on to start. Let me see. Okay, so we're just gonna need to... So, in... My last episode, I made a blaze farm, and we have like three stacks of blaze rods and some more for the end rods because I was running low on it, and I didn't really just want to go farming for them, so they're right here. Um, the other thing we actually needed are popped chorus fruit, so let me see if we just like put it in a craft table like this, you get like quite a decent amount from only like a few because you get four for each, I think. So we are going to need to harvest some more of these. That is the purpose of this. Um, let me make sure I get some of the fruits. We need at least one for each spot. So let me land on here. Ow. Okay. So I think, well, I got rid of my axe, but it should be fine just to get these. And they all fall down once you break it. I think I have some in the chest too, but I think it's good just to harvest these, because I don't remember where I put that. So, how many of these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so 12. So let me get 12 of these fruits. Okay. Okay. Um, those are pretty high up. This is- these are quite hard to, like, thing to harvest, so... I think this we only really need to do one round of it, and we'll have enough for quite a while. Um, oh, okay. Well, let me just break some of these, and then we can start playing the others. These grow pretty fast, too. Um, okay. Okay, we have 12 now, so we can just break the bottoms. 48 should be enough for the pillars, though, anyway. This is just kind of, like, I haven't, I haven't designed the whole thing yet, either, so, um, it's gonna kind of just, like, I'm gathering these so I can be prepared for if I'm using more in the castle. That's the main idea. Okay. This should give me, like, an absolute ton of it. Like, over... Let me see. Uh, probably about maybe two to three stacks. Or two-ish pretty good um i have a furnace thing over here so yeah they're already growing um let me just put these in the furnace and uh they can just heat away while i'm starting to build all right let's see um yeah we should be fine with 48 for now let me see the other resources um i have uh, 
right, so this place is still a mess, but I do have... Okay, these are the gray concrete. That's the stuff... This same thing. Okay, yeah, that's what we use there. Um, that's pretty much all we need to build these pillars right now. We do need the bottom part, because, like, uh, the resource for the bottom part. That's cyan. I just need the lanterns. That's what I'm looking for now, mainly. Don't know what chest I put them in. I think it's somewhere over here. And, uh, by the way, I do know that, like, uh, 1.7 has sort of come out, like, part 1 or, uh, whatever it is. But I I'm not currently actually playing in that, because, um, I just, I, I kind of wanted to wait to do it. Like, I wanted to go into 1.7 and kind of just do, like, a stream or something to kind of just explore, because I didn't, I haven't seen a lot of the, um, the snapshots or things so i kind of just want to experience the caves and cliffs update as one whole and also um i can't use like the replay mod and stuff and i wanted to make like a time lapse of building the entire castle because i thought that'd be cool so yeah that's why i'm playing in 1.16 but i mean the game is pretty much the same for what we're doing here we need this and that if we get this much should be enough and I think that's all I need. I do have my measurements still, in case we need to look at those. Alright, let's head over here. Okay, yeah. I think I put these torches down wrong here. I know it doesn't matter, but I like having it all the same. Or did I do that one wrong? Okay, I think that's right. So, yeah, I already have placed the bottom part here, so it's just the top. So let me remember how to do this. Because we should just get right into this. Um, what do I not need? I guess I don't need the shovel right now. I brought that for like clearing out areas. Because we are going to need to do that. As you see, we're really close to hills and stuff. It is turning night soon, but we're alright. Okay. I think the stream's working. I'm not sure sometimes. It kind of like is weird about it. All right, let's just put some torches here. So nothing spawns in it. And I don't actually remember how to build these, so. Okay, we just go one in and then have the first layer. Okay, it's starting to rain. Might wanna go to sleep soon. Let's switch this out for lanterns for now. Okay, well that's just the start. Let's go to sleep, make sure no mobs spawn and noise. There we go. Let me have a quick sip of water. I don't know how far today we're gonna go on building this. Um. We should be able to get, like, I'm thinking we'll get most of the pillars done, if all, um, in this stream. I think that'd be kind of lucky, though, to get all of them done. Or maybe not, I don't know. We'll just see what happens. I am going to need food. Let's, uh, let's just, we don't need our sword right now. Inventory gets very full when you're building stuff. Okay, let's just see. So I think we go eight blocks up if I remember correctly. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that correct? It looks correct, okay. I'm just gonna go with that if it's wrong. I can just break like a hole differently because it's mainly the same thing the whole way up just like with the indents. Okay. There we go, we got to this point, and we can just place the end rods in, and then the lanterns on top of them. That looks right. Okay. Okay, 
eight blocks up again, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that right? Okay, let me just check something. Let me put this here. And then I think the height was, what is it, um, 83 right up here? Like, it's 80. Okay, this is 90. Let me check what the top block is on one of these. Just so we get the height right. Okay, so it says 90 on both sides. I was looking, it says 89 here, but yeah, 90 is the top, like, where I'm standing. So, that's good. We can just fill this area in. And that's pretty much what we're going to be doing the entire stream. So, it's kind of just going to be chill. That's the right thing. And we're almost done with our first pillar here. And I'll check what, uh, what time we're into the stream to see how fast I could build it. And I missed this here, but we do. Is that the right block? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, I did it on the other side too, did I? Can't see it from this angle, but yep. Okay, so that's our first pillar done. Let me check. Um, make sure the stream's working, of course, and see if, uh, how long we're into it. We're, like, 20 minutes in, and the beginning was just an intro and stuff, so... Yeah, I guess this is... that's, that's decent. Um, so... Okay, there's gonna be another pillar here. And this area's already pretty much cleared out for it, because I, I think I did that, like, in one of the other streams. Like, I cleared out the areas around these, because I forgot to when I originally started. Okay, it's, th it's three, it's three, right? Yeah, it's three of those. Gotta make sure the measurements are right, because redoing one of these pillars would not be fun, because it would take forever to break it. Okay. We need to get more of these here. I, I guess I can just kind of do that every time it runs out anyway. Block picking is like really useful for stuff like this. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Let's fly down. I'm still not sure, like, of the interior, like, at all. I kind of know what I'm going to do for, like, the top part. Not really. I haven't planned anything out, though. But the inside, I have pretty much no clue. All I know is I'm making a storage system. I want it to be, like, decorational, but functional at the same time. So, like, I want it to look really cool inside and kind of look like a castle, but I also want it to be, like, functional in some ways. I mean... I have that kind of like farming area next to the village and I'll probably make more farms kind of like that near there. And I probably won't put many farms near this like near the castle. This will more be kind of just like more of more of a decorational thing cuz you don't really need a, a base of this size, but I thought it'd be cool and it makes me feel like I'm actually completing something, you know. And that that was in the right place. I was just making sure. Yeah, I I just I wanted to do a huge project, because I've never really done something like this, and I just thought it would be a fun challenge to work on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there we go. But for, like, when I am do, like, the Caves and Cliffs thing, I'm probably just going to go, like, exploring somewhere like new and just kind of see all the stuff um and kind of just discover it for myself because i haven't really done that with any of the minecraft updates before and i think it'll be fun 
Okay, I'm just gonna have another drink of water. I'm pretty sure most resource gathering is done, like, for this part of the project, not the interior and stuff. But the walls are what we have for resources. I'm gonna need to go mining more definitely. But we have most stuff, and that is another pillar done. Let me just check to make sure it's right. Okay. Let's see, why did I come over here? Don't know. We can just head along that way, I think. I don't know. Just kind of was repeating what I did with the last pillar, like going to the bed. We're on to the uh, pretty much last side and just one more over there. do that. I think that's just a safer way to do it. Like, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, just to make sure the measurement's right, and then build up. How much of the concrete have I used? I don't know. I think we have more in one of the chests of this, but we also have gravel and stuff, too, so... We'll have enough. Am I? I built. I'm building too high now. Am I? Let me. Uh, let me check the height of this. Okay. Let me see if I can land here. Uh, I took a little damage, but that's okay. I'll just. What's this block? Seventy-six. Okay. Let me check. Make sure I'm doing the right thing, because I might have placed one too high. Oh, this is seventy-six. Okay. I just wasn't paying too much attention. Okay, it's almost night again, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. After this one, we'll go take a sleep again. Is this the right height? Yep, okay. Let's head down. These things have started spawning. Yes, I got it. No damage even. Will the zombie make it to me? Okay, he did, but he died.
Yeah, like the mobs spawn really fast. All right, we may need, okay, I think we do have enough of this, I'm pretty sure. We only have four more pillars to go. Okay, hello skeleton. Yours won't hit me underwater. Nice. Okay, this is... I can't really put torches here. I, I don't need to, I guess, for this one. Um, because there's water at the bottom. But maybe... Huh. What? Because they could spawn here, so I don't know what I'd do about that. Maybe I'll just put it on the side. It's okay to be a little different. It'll be special for the water. Okay. Ow, it hit me? Okay, unacceptable. You're going to get pickaxed. Okay, there you go. Um, do I need bones? I think I actually might want to keep that. Get rid of the rotten flesh. I don't have any source of bones, really. I mean, my creeper farm kind of gives me bones sometimes, but it doesn't, it's not like consistently giving me bones, so I wouldn't count it as a farm of that. Most bones I probably got from, um, from wither skeleton hunting. Because I have looting three on the sword and I just, Gives me a decent amount. Okay. Let's see. Um, eight blocks up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down. Let's eat some carrots. You know what, I think it might be cool for the Caves and Cliffs update. I might want to, like, I could do a challenge where I get one of every, like, new item. That might be fun. Because I could get, like, a list and then see if I can collect each one. That'd be a cool way of exploring it. I don't know how many items there are, though. I mean, I know there's a decent amount of new ones. And like there might be items like with variety in it, like like different color or something, which might take a while to get. But I think that could be fun. And then I make sure I explore everything pretty much. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Oh no. Uh, by the way, if you're new to the stream, I'm currently, uh, like, working on just, like, a castle for- which is going to be my base in, uh, this world, and I'm currently, like, working on the pillars on the outside, so it's kind of a grinding process. Is this the top? Yep, I think that's correct. The height is right. Just th three more pillars to go, and then we'll be done. Excellent. Did I forget to put torches on this one? No, I didn't. Yeah, this was the water one. Okay. Uh, Alright. We are running low on that, so I need to refuel it. Oh, that's the wrong block. That's also the wrong block.
Okay, there we go. Let me take a quick check just to make sure the stream's running correctly. Okay, yeah. And we're like 30 minutes in, and we have like done one, two, three, four, five, and this is the sixth, so it doesn't take too long to make these towers if you kind of just get into a rhythm, I guess. And I am running low on soul lanterns. I think I probably can get m more of these easily. All I need is really soul soil. Here, just soul sand, either one, I think. I don't know if we have that in a chest. We might, but I can always go get some more. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Quite repetitive. Something's kind of like satisfying about doing this though. It's kind of just like you're getting something done. I guess. In Minecraft. It's fun. Let's see. Okay. I already went. Is this why? I didn't mean to do that. Okay, yeah, I was distracted. Sometimes I just kind of like forget what I'm doing. Um, and accidentally do things like that. We need to keep going a little higher here. ran out of them. Okay, uh, let's check the chest and see if we can get some more soul lanterns also. I should have more of these things. Um, they are probably over in these chests over here somewhere. I definitely have more uh, gray concrete. Or I have the resources for it. I might need more ink sacks though. Okay, uh, gray, that's why we need bones for the dye, and I just put it away. Let me see, um, we have that, so I guess it is just the bones, where did I, I just put them in the chest here, that's only one, but I don't know if I have any more. Okay, uh, this should be enough for now, I guess, I don't know, we'll probably need to get more. Do I? These chests are an absolute mess. Let's get some gravel out of here. Kind of just work our way up and see how much we can get. Okay. Here's some more. Okay, let's see if there's any... I think there's... Yeah, there's sand in here. Um, let me just have a blank space, too. Okay. Gray. We definitely need more gray dye which we need bones for, and yeah, we are out of that. Um, hmm. I don't really know the best way to get bones, like, like without making a farm, like, a, a lot. I mean, we don't need a ton. We need a substantial amount. Okay, I mean, it's turning night, and let me just get my looting sword and kill them. Because a ton of things spawn here, so I guess that'll be the best way to do it. Let me just check through these chests, though. And there's some soul sand here, so we can make those, too. Um, let me just clear my inventory a little bit. Okay. There's... Do we need... 
I think we need, like, the sticks. Okay, let me just get a, a lot. Okay, there's some sticks. And we're gonna need a lot of iron, so I'm gonna just take this. And, okay, it's night now. So, we should, there should be skeletons spawning soon. Kind of just trying to get both done. Uh, we can take that, I guess. And, do we need anything? We need the coal. We have a ton of coal in one of these chests. Here it is. Okay. Um, let's see. Soul torches. Okay. Let's, we can get just rid of that for now. And do that. And there we go. Uh, I guess we don't need that either. We don't need any of that. Okay. Uh, let me just put some of this in a chest, and then we can go skeleton hunting and just get it back in a second. This does look really cool at night though, right? I like how like just the light kind of goes around it. Okay, there's a skeleton. There we go. The sword has smite on it, so it should do a lot of damage to them. Okay. Let me fly over to this one. Okay. Not sure if it one shot, so let me try to see if I can get a critical one shot. Oh, it does. Just need to make sure I get a good hit in. There are a lot of other mobs also, though. Okay. Don't want any creepers to blow up. I don't have my bow either. Okay. It's fine. This should give us enough for what we're doing here, because, like, we have 13, and that times by, like, 3 with the bone meal, which we can convert to die, and that also doubles, and then that doubles again, so we don't need that much. Okay. No, thank you. Come on, come to me. Don't let the creepers come. Okay. Because there's a lot of zombies there, and he picked up the bow. Can't use it though. I think he can hit me with it though, just like regularly. Um. Okay, there's some skeletons over here. Let's get like a stack, I guess. Okay, there's another one here. Boom. Okay, that's 17. Just need a few more. Wait. Do I have only. Oh, that's not gonna- that's not near a stack. Never mind. I think I read something wrong. Okay. Okay, we have 23. Some more. There we go. There's a lot here. I'm mainly concerned about the creepers. Because I don't want to fill any holes right now. Okay. Okay, got that guy. There's no creepers near this one. There's a lot of spiders, though. Okay, let's go eat real quick. Um, we have 36. Um, that's probably enough. I was gonna get a stack, but it would take a little bit longer. Does that creeper see me? Wait. Oh, he does. Um, oh, darn it. And I don't have my bow. Stop. Okay, we just are gonna need to lure it away, because I don't want to risk blowing any of my stuff up. Okay, yep, you just come this way, away from my bed. And, okay. Let's go sleep quickly, quickly, quickly. Nothing blew me up. That would be really annoying if blew up my chests. Because there's way too much stuff in there to clean up. Okay, um, don't know if we have any more ink sacks, or I have some in there. Let me just turn it all to die. 
Joker stack. 22. Let me get a couple more ink in sacks here, and then we can uh, be done with the die. Luckily, there's a ton of squids here, so... That's 17. Which makes 56. That's gonna be... Okay, let's get a little bit more. Wow, that one went flying. Stop swimming away from me. Wow, why is it going so fast? Okay. And it only dropped one. There should be more squids over here. You just get a good view. Okay, there's some here. I think after this patch we can head back. Uh, there might be a chest just full of grey concrete and I just didn't see it. Which would be annoying. And it's very possible. But this isn't too expensive anyway. And we do have the gravel and sand for it. Okay. I think most of these things are gone now. All right, let's turn that into black dye, then turn to gray dye, and then we can dump some of the stuff in the chest. There's some more soul sand here too, which is good. Um, we can just dump it in here, I guess. Um, uh, we don't need that on me right now. I kinda need everything else. All right. Let me just do all this and then all that, and let's convert it. Okay, I think we we have more. Let's just do all the dye we have. Let me just put this in the chest real quick. Get some more gravel, and that actually should be all of it. There we go. Let me just get rid of that. And we can shove all the sand and gravel into a chest here. Here. And then we can convert it. Let me just make the soul lanterns first though. Okay. 55, that does cost lot of iron. Luckily we have a decent amount of it. Um, let's convert it to nuggets and then convert it to lanterns. That should be enough for now. There might be some actually in another chest that I didn't see, but I have a ton of these resources anyway, so we're fine. Uh, put that in there. And now we just need to convert this into hardened concrete. This is why it takes so long to do these things, because the resources take a long time to gather, and I forget um, things I need. Well, I didn't forget this, I just didn't get enough of it. Okay, let's uh, just uh, start mining here. Okay, let me just check to make sure the stream is running good real quick. And, uh, by the way, we're like 45 minutes in the stream. thought it actually was longer, so I guess that's good. It means we're doing things with efficiency. Um, let's see. Put that in there. Here we go. This is, like, even more boring than placing the blocks because it's not actually making anything. It's even more wet. But it must be done. 
it might have been worth making a concrete destroyer before I started working on this castle. But I don't know when I'm going to do that. If I like put it down and then just do that, okay, I guess that's another strategy of doing it. I don't know, I kind of have to pay attention to do that though. And I'm kind of just like zoning out. Five more to go. And that should be enough for the uh, last pillars. Hopefully. I think that's actually faster, yeah, doing it like that than actually opening up my inventory. I kind of just gotta, like, I don't know, just remember to do it mainly. But I think there's, like, these probably are, like, the last two stacks, so there might be one more after that, but then we can get to work. And I think in this, we're just gonna start, like, working on, like, the base of the wall which is going to be the acacia logs I gathered because um, that has a nice gray texture, kind of like stone. And I'm kind of just going to practice on that after we do the pillars because I think we'll definitely be able to finish that also. I think this is the last stack, I'm pretty sure. Okay, is that it? Yes. Nice. Okay, uh, let me put the sword back in here, and is that everything? Put the shield, our shield back on. 
And I don't think I need anything else in my inventory. Uh, so we can take a sleep. Just one second, then it'll become day. This one's almost finished here anyway, so we only have, uh, two more. Oh! That didn't work out. Is this, like, the very last part of this one? Like, how close were we to done? Okay, yeah. Just a couple more. To kind of cap it off. Oh, that... I thought I... I guess I... Okay, well that block's gone. Yeah, I think the castle will look better at night than day. Because, like, it'll really glow. Because I kind of, when I was designing the wall part, um, I, I definitely took into account, like, lighting. Because I knew if I needed that. That was kind of the point of the side light because it's kind of nice to have like the light go around something so yeah shaders just would make it like look even cooler but it does make my game run slower so it's kind of not worth it I'm gonna try to do this pillar as fast as I possibly can here. Kind of speed run it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that right? Don't know. But we can just build up and then see. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Yeah, that's right. Okay, one, is that right? Okay, I can check at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. That should be it. Okay, let me just check. Uh, yep, that is right. And we have the final pillar right here. And then we shall be done. Okay, my mouse is kind of stuck. Give me one second. There you go. I fixed it. Kind of, kind of get. Um, I mean, let me see. Let me re-say that. It kind of gets stuck behind my desk. I just lost my words there. Um, it's kind of annoying because it just like I can't move it anymore, and then it kind of bring it up now and then. I don't really know how to fix it, but it's usually fine. All right, let's put the torches down and get on with the final pillar.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. This tree's pretty close here. We are gonna have to break that later. But that'll be part of the terraforming phase, which probably not be anytime sooner. Okay. Um, that's the right height. Okay, there we go. That's in place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Okay, we also got it. Okay, yeah, we got up there. Okay, so by the way, if you're like new to the stream, I'm kind of just working on the pillars of the castle here, and this is the last one. So after that, we'll work on the like start of the wall, which will be something new to work on, which is cool. Out didn't mean fall. Let's eat some carrots. And can I take no damage? No. I messed that up. It's kind of hard to take no damage when you're going that fast. It's kind of like you have to whip around. These like pillars do kind of give me something to like work on, like with my flying skills. I can kind of land on them. It's kind of hard. Okay, we need to place that there. And this should be it. And there we go. All the pillars have been completed. There we go, taking a look around. Uh, so yeah, this looks actually pretty cool. This kind of looks like an arena, sort of. Like, with it just so flat and open. I didn't land there, but... Okay, what are we going to need to do now? Um, we don't need any of these resources anymore, really. And, whoa, it did go through, like, all that concrete. We have a little left. Um, don't know when I'll need that next, though. I won't need my shovel right now, I don't think. Um, probably won't need these, either. My food back where it's meant to be. And let's get the acacia. Okay, so we have a ton of acacia in here. And uh, that's going to be pretty much all I need right now. So just a lot of acacia. And the other thing we're going to need is this cyan terracotta. We'll probably need to get a little more than this um, for the whole thing. But uh, actually I actually have to check my, um, what's it called, uh, my notes here for this. Because I don't know the exact measurements. So let me just clear out these blocks here. And. Okay. Let me check. Um, see how high things are meant to be. Okay. So it goes up from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So. So the acacia kind of go up eight blocks. Um, above this in kind of just like I don't know a pixely kind of form because they're blocks so let me just see like I'm gonna do this as kind of the example part two three okay I need a sip of water my throat's getting a bit dry let me check here Okay, um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, all right. So that's about how high it'll be, like, going around here. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, all right, so I'm just gonna go, like, uh, I think the lowest it'll go, I don't know, what were my notes again? I need to check make sure to do this right because this is kind of confusing um i think we'll do kind of three say so it's gonna go to six here one two three four five six 
and I'll say that's the base height, I guess, and it can go like one underneath that, so we're gonna need a place like a solid layer of four or five around the whole thing, I'm thinking, and then there'll be like, after it hits five, it'll be like three blocks up. We are gonna need an axe for this. Wow, my throat's kind of weird right now. Let me go to sleep. It's almost time. Don't want anything spawning right now because I'm kind of low down. There we go. Okay. So. Okay, that's placed wrong here. Yeah, the axe breaks this pretty fast. Um, so I, I'm kind of just gonna work out how I want this. So I'm thinking, yeah, five. I think it's good. One, two, three, four. That's five, like counting the bottom one. And it kind of will go up to six and kind of just vary like this, and then. Above that, it's gonna go like also, so kind of be like doing things like that and stuff. Kind of, I don't know. Kind of have to see like kind of what the style I'm going for is. And I kind of want to cover it sort of like that. Like get rid of there. And it does kind of like weird, kind of just like fading out. It's kind of the effect I'm going for. So what does this look like here? Um, so this is one, two, three, four, five. Five is gonna be the lowest it goes, I think. It's gonna be here. It's kind of gonna be like an art. Like to get it right and stuff. I'll kinda of have to tinker with certain areas. Um, but, okay, that's just stuck. But that looks, I think that looks cool. And when it's, like, fully done with, like, a lot of things, it'll look cooler. I don't know if this is, like, the perfect example. This is kind of just gonna be like that, though. And I guess I'll kind of, I'll just go up here, too. One, two, three, four, five. And, uh, let's do this, this, this that, I guess. Does that look alright? It kind of just goes down and up, and it'll kind of just go like this. So I think this is a good example of it. Do you guys like this? Because the rest of it's just going to be like three blocks just randomly kind of put throughout. So I guess to start this, the easiest way is just going to build five blocks up on each thing, because that's going to be the minimum. I might kind of... I should work th or, like this out how I want it before I build it. Like, just start building the whole thing. Do I like this? Do I want more cyan? Sericata. I kind of am doing it as it, like, as it coats the thing, and not pixels out of it. Which I think is right. Let me see, uh, do I want this? Yeah, I think, I think we can just go around with five, and if we want to kind of change the top, how we do the top, we can do that later. But, I think this step's just gonna be going around the whole thing with, um, Acacian kind of just going five blocks, so I think this is, I can get any more, it won't, like, do it, so if I'm, like, here, it won't place it there, so we're just gonna go around with three, like this. Okay, and then go with two above it. All right, here. Okay, we are gonna have to break the stone brick also, like around it, because that was like just the template, and you won't actually see it because it has the um, border of andersite. Like, but I kind of prefer it to have to go down. 
So let's just go around real quick and break this part. This won't take too long. Especially in the beacon area. May might actually take longer in the beacon area if I mess up blocks. Um, I'm not picking any of this stone brick up. That's fine, I have a lot of stone. Okay, didn't see that hole. Um, this is kind of annoying. How do I get out of here? Hey, by the way, if you're like, uh, don't know what I'm doing right now, I'm working on like the wall of my castle here, which um, will just, I don't know, it'll, it's like, this is the bottom design I'm going for right now. And I need to kind of just break my, uh, like, template blocks, because I don't think I want to have them. And there is more cyan terracotta in here, too. I forgot about that. Um, let me just put this in here, because I do, I need some dirt blocks. Where was it? Because I, I wanted to fill in that gap that I found. Just put this here. Like that. And we have a free hand space, which is nice. And just, let me just fill this up with dirt. Let me see. Let me just make this area flat here. We are going to terraform it later. Just want to make sure this doesn't mess me up later. Don't fall in it or anything. I think it'll be best if I go underneath it here and just make sure to place a solid layer here. Okay. Make sure to light this up so nothing spawns either. So, I can just kind of do that, I guess, since that's outside of it. And then here. Can I fly out? Come on. I'll just place this up. And... Yep, okay, I think I fixed that part. There shouldn't be any more holes like that. Just that one part. Didn't mean to do that. Did it again. Let me be careful. Also, I don't know if I'm- I'm probably gonna do a different color for the inside wall, like... But I don't know what that is yet. So that's gonna cost a lot to, like, make two coatings. But, it'll look cool. Oh, there we go. We hit the beacon part. I need more- be more careful now. Make sure I don't hit any of the andersite. It's kind of like chiseling it out, sort of. Just at the top. Okay. Oop. Broke that one. And, okay, that was the only thing I break. I don't want to break the outside of this, because if I place the wall wrong in, like, one spot... Well, actually, I'll only have to readjust it there. It'd still be annoying to, like, rebuild the entire height, though. Okay, are we, where are we? Okay, we're on, like, the second loop of this part. I was kind of confused for a second. Did I break? Yeah, I did. And here, okay. Beacon is a little bit annoying. Right now. Okay, we're out of it. It's just a little hard to, like, manage. don't really need it anymore, actually. I don't think there's any more mining we're gonna have to do. How did it- how did it activate again? And I was moving farther away from it. I guess I kind of just, like, dipped, like, just out of the range and then back in. I guess it's easier for this part. Not that, though. 
And there you go. My pickaxe is pretty fast by itself anyway. So it's fine. Like even this, just like breaking one block around it takes a really long time. And oh, there are more blocks like this. It's a bit annoying. Let me see. Okay, I shouldn't have to do it here since I actually dug in with the water. So it did come in handy to do that. Not just decorative. And I don't have to light it up in there because it's water and things don't really spawn in water like they do on land. But, I mean, there's squid there, but I don't really care. This is a little annoying though. There's like little water holes for this is. I'm just gonna refill that like after I do it. So that'd be easier. Let me see. I'm gonna go around here and then we'll probably get into bed when we hit there. But there's a ton of holes around here. We might need to go now though to bed, because I don't want things to spawn. I need some more carrots here though. We are going to have to break the bed though. We won't have to move any shulker boxes right now. We'll, we'll be able to just go around or above, uh, which will be fine. Wow, my inventory filled up all the way. So that just shows how much one strip of height takes. That's like, that is a ton of resources there. And that's just one strip. So we're, we're gonna need so much stone and stuff. I have a lot, but I'm probably gonna need to mine for even more. I don't think there'll be, okay, there's holes here too. That's not great. But this at least shows we're making progress, that we're working on like the new wall section instead of the pillars. This I'm kind of like doing this. I don't really have to break this because this won't be visible, but I kind of like that it's more complete and I feel like it's more correct if it's the other block. This really does take a long time just to do this though. Okay. Just checking if I missed a block. Almost there. Okay. And I've made it to the bed. Which floats actually, so... I'll break it when I come around with the acacia, or... You know what, I'll just break it now. Where should we relocate it? Uh, put it here. I actually need more dirt. Let me just put some stone brick in here. That's like a decent amount. That's kind of insane just how much it takes. We may need to gather more acacia. I definitely have a ton of dirt, though. I know that. It's probably just in the earlier chests. That should be enough for filling in these holes here. This will only take a second. Go. No holes there. Got some holes here. Did I? Wait, did I do that wrong? Oh, there's this should go down here. Or wait, no. Oh yeah, I, I didn't care about that. 
that was, I didn't care that it went down. It's kind of just that it looked correct here. Because that was just for kind of the outside border of the water that I cared about. Okay, let's go around. This has a lot of holage, though. We are going to have to break this dirt later. No, wait. We're not going to have to break this, actually. This is just so it's easier to build. And that it's flat. So I kind of like that's all flat. And I'm picking up all the stone that I couldn't pick up because my inventory is full. So I guess that kind of works out. And there we go. Okay. Don't think there's any more holes. Um, I'm just going to pick up the stone here so it doesn't cause any lag. It won't really for me. But I start doing it anyway. Okay. Um, now to just going around with the acacia. I could... Should I just make, like, a blank palette here? No, I think I'll just work... Like, I'll, I'll do this acacia part, then we'll go on to the next step of uh, building the wall. And I'll show you the design then. But now it's the even more grindy process of just going around like this. I will definitely run out of acacia though, like in my inventory right now, when I go around this. Because this is three blocks. Oh, I'm probably going to have to gather more. That's annoying. And, oh, this is in the way too. I'm going to have to break that. I mean, I knew, I'm going to have to break it anyway for terraforming, but probably recent, like sooner. This is in the way. I'll just get rid of that block in this one. There we go. Let's just continue along. And it at least makes it look a bit fuller, you know? Because it kind of was just more of a skeleton, like the outside with the pillars and stuff, but now this is starting to like look like it's actually going to be a building. This is getting tight next to this wall though, like, it's almost on top of me here. I think it might be in some places, but... Yeah, we're definitely gonna need to clear out some of this, because there are, like, kind of windows in it. I think, in the whole, like, we're about, um... I think we're maybe, like, 10 to 20% complete with the castle um maybe more maybe less because we did take all the time to mine it out but i like doing the interior also i'm kind of including so i'm thinking 10 to 20 percent like so far because maybe even less than that also is this like i've already worked on this project for over 12 hours now and um, it's going to be a lot more than that. It's probably going to be... I, I don't know how long this will take. The full thing will take a very long time. Like, I won't be done with this probably for a year. Like, a, a year from now, I won't be done with this build. Like, completely, I mean. I'll, pr I'll probably have the outside done. Uh, a year from now, will I have the outside? Will I, will I have the entire, like, just design of the building done? I'm not sure. Maybe. 
It depends on how many how much, many streams I do. I'm hoping to do more over the summer also. Kind of just started the summer out a little slower, but hopefully I'll do more. Like when I get kind of more into it. Because, you know, life's busy and stuff. Hello, sheep. I feel like that sheep's been there this whole time. Now I'm fencing it off. Cannot escape. Okay. This is looking more complete with this, like, little wall around it. Okay. Let me place that there. Alright. But I probably won't do anything really interesting on the build till we're done with the wall. And probably most outside. I mean, it's kind of just going to be the changing that's anything new. And wow, we actually went uh, ran out then. I knew we would, but that's a decent... Uh, that looked like it looks much fuller that it has like actual wall around it. Because this is, this is a like like an actual wall you can't get over this wall just like without things so it's actually fortified now in part of it oh how much okay we have a lot left of acacia but we're gonna need to get more most likely i mean there's some now and then in other chests because it's not all in there but it's mostly just that so yeah and the main design of this, I, I just kind of worked out for myself, but I think, like, the roof and the interior, I'm kind of looking for, your, like, your guys' suggestions and stuff. Because I, I don't really know what I'm going to do with this build yet. But. It's just a lot of grinding. When it's done, it'll be very satisfying, though. something let me check on the stream real quick uh we're still doing fine on it the stream nothing's wrong there we're an hour and about 24 minutes in so i'll say we pretty i've saved i'll i'll say we've made pretty good progress we've finished all the pillars and now we're actually making progress in the wall and this is just like a small layer i'm actually gonna have to alternate it like for most of it so the wall is just gonna take forever to do just like everything on this project Grinding acacia logs. It's probably like the worst type of log to grind. Because there's like... You can't make a huge tree of it. I, I'm pretty sure you can. I... Wait, can you? I, I don't think so. Um, never seen that. Uh, and it's just like the shape of it. It's just kind of annoying. So... I mean, this log is not, like, oftenly used. Like, I'm only using it here because it has a nice, like, dark texture. Like, a uh, gray texture, but 
I don't think I'll ever use Keisha for any big thing again in this world. Because it's an annoying block to farm. Because even like just a spruce tree, you, the like, spruce trees are really nice because you can make like one of those huge ones and it just like, you don't have to like place them down and like work around it. I'm actually gonna need like spruce. I'm gonna use spruce for like part of the floor, like on on the top, like kind of where the ledges and archer tower type things are. I'm using mostly spruce for that. I think I'm only using spruce. I don't remember. I'll check the design later when I get to there, but we are gonna need a lot of that also for this build. We are getting progress here, though. We're almost... I think we're, like, uh, half... Uh, just a little over halfway done with this three-block layer of the wall. And I'm assuming our acacia supply is depleting very fast. Oh, we can still have a decent amount in my inventory. but I don't think we'll have enough. We're on the last part of this here. It'll take a lot longer to do like the top part of this also, because it's not the same thing over and over again. It actually has like a style I kind of have to think about. That's mainly why I'm doing this first. Get the easy stuff out of the way. not even have enough for just this three layer section like three block section I mean we're almost there but this is the last stack in my inventory and I don't know how many we have besides that in my chests so we may be in a little trouble here That's all of it. Let's go check the chests. I know I have at least one more stack somewhere. Okay, yeah, there's one stack in there. And, oh, there's a decent amount here. Okay, I, I thought I took, like, all of it out of that chest, but we do, do get it out of there. I'm not... I don't think there's anything else, though. I think this might be the last of the acacia. Just kind of looking through some of these chests just to... Oh! There's some in here, too. Let me get that. Nice. I won't want to break more than I have to, so... Let me just put, like, the stuff that I don't need right down there. And this should be enough for this three-part section. And then we can start working on, like, the top. 
but this looks pretty cool, like with the gray wall around it. This is the last loop here, and then it's just the front wall, and then we're done here. Okay. Okay, just this part, and one, one last thing here, and there we go! Oh wait, no, just this, never mind. A little bit more. And now we're done with that. There we go, now this is like a closed off area. Sort of. I mean, it has this front entrance open, but I think it, I think this looks like this is definitely going to look really cool inside of it when once we're done, also. Like, not just the outside. And I think we want to do one, like, three layers differing. I only have, like, two here. And I will have to kind of just push it on the- I think I'll do this middle section here first, because it kind of has the only arch that it's actually dealing with, so... Kind of just going to do that, like, there. And I think that will look fine. I mean, it coats it still, sort of. Um, if I just do it like that. And, um, I said three, so I probably would, could put one there. Do I want to do that? Sure. I think that'll look fine. I'm just looking like that. And then we'll kind of have it low on the other side, I think. To kind of just make it evened out. Okay. Oh, there's our thing spawning here. Yeah, and we this is like all the acacia we have left. I mean, we have a few stacks in the shulker box, but we're definitely gonna need more. So, oh yeah, and also I was gonna go around with five, but I want to make this section here um, first, just kind of. To have like a, a section complete with it you know um so let's see we could do that and there and here nope not torch that this i want to put these right next to each other so it's easier like that um oh okay how tall is that that so this is the five one so this is one, two, three, four. So this is the five that's the bottom. And that wait, differs okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it goes. Um yeah, it's fine. Um this is the four above it here. And four above it there. So it can go one block taller than that. Uh, I don't think it really needs to in this section, though. I'll see as it goes. This is kind of just mainly practice, even though it's on the real thing. Uh, so, do this type of thing, like that. 
and uh, here, and is that good, I guess? That looks fine, I think. It's kind of just however I want it to look, and that's going to be fine. I just need, like, all the tops to be covered, and, like, I'm okay with the diagonal being exposed like that. Um, but that kind of looks... I think it's fine like this. Yeah, I'm fine with, like, diagonals, but overall, I mean, most of it will be covered on top of it. And I think that looks pretty cool. So, yeah, that's kind of the main thing here. It'll probably make more sense when the full thing's there. It does look a little weird that that's the only tall part on this thing. So, let me make a tall part over here. Just, I think that'd look better. Do something like that. Is there any... Yeah, I think I'll make uh, one here, too. Does that does that texture is that texture different because I placed it upward? No, it isn't. That block is annoying, but whatever. Um, I think I'm gonna place it. I ran out of rockets. Okay. I think I'm gonna place one here. So it's kind. Of, this is just yeah. This is practice. Just making sure I know like how I kind of want to do it. Um, so I, I kind of think that'll look better than leaving it open. I guess I could do that. And are they on the same thing? Is this so... No, that's one down. Okay. So I think this looks good. For now. That does look a little weird, though. Compared to the rest of it. I, it'll look fine, I think, once I add the blocks on top of it. Um. But, yeah. Okay, so I guess we can just work on the, like, two blocks above it, since we said it's going to five. Um, and then we can actually, like, do the top part for the rest of it. It will be hard to get up on these things now, though, because it's, like, has a thing up here. Okay. Let me see, can I glide around to this? No, I think I hit it. It is possible, though. So I'm just going to go as far as I can with this. Wait. First, I'm going to get the rest of the acacia. Because it probably will take the rest of this to get around, or we'll run out of it. And then I guess on the next stream, we can get more acacia. Um, I already made that to five, so... Okay. Didn't mean to fall off there. Uh, it was the elytra's fault and my fault for not using it correctly. <laughs> okay. And we just kind of go around like we did the first time. Trying to do it fast with like uncrouching. I think it makes it a bit faster. But it does have a little bit more risk in it, I guess. To like making a mistake or falling down. Makes it a little bit more interesting, I guess. And yeah, I messed up. I think it's the wall here that messed me up. Not really the thing I was doing. Kind of a mixture of both, I guess. I can't, like, uh, go across there without doing that. So I slid off. And by the way, for, like, the top part, I was thinking maybe, like, a garden-type thing. And uh, maybe I could, like, have every type of flower or something kind of like that a display up there also. Like, for, like, part of the roof, sort of. 
like the part that's above this because there's gonna be like a little standing point wait that's another way to get around this but this is not the one i've traveled it's the arch um but yeah i think it'd be cool to have like a couple of kind of like things displaying like one of everything like one of every flower one of every sapling things kind of like that i think would be cool and like the garden i don't know how like i i don't i've kind of thought a little bit of, about it a little bit but i don't know how i want to do it because this is like a huge space and i need to add like a roof on top of this so it's kind of a tricky challenge because I can't just make one big flat triangle on top of it. I have to do something cool with it. It takes water. Okay. I made the jump. Nice. even thicker with the two blocks on top of it. Less than three stacks here, so we won't really be able to finish this right now. Because I did put all of it on me. That was annoying. But we'll get as far as we can. Which I'm thinking is probably like halfway on this side. Or just halfway in general. I guess because that is halfway. Oh, I missed a block there. Wait. Oh, yeah, it's three. Never mind. I was going to say, wait, can I do it at four? But could have I done it at four? But it doesn't make a difference. Let me see. I wanted to check that. Does that look good? Yeah, I think that's fine. I don't know, I kind of just... I'm not sure about it. I, th I think it looks good and it'll look better with the stuff on it. I know that. It kind of looks weird by itself a little bit. But when there's other things, I think it'll look better. This is it. These are the final acacia blocks. And, yep, that's it. I mean, it lasts us pretty far. All the way over to there. Like, that's a lot of acacia. So, we're gonna need to get more later. Let me just go to sleep here. I think I have saplings in one of these chests. I'm gonna, like, just put them down now. Uh, but, like, let me check. What the... The stream's doing fine. We're, like, an hour and 45 minutes in. Let me see. There should be some saplings here, because we are gonna have to start getting some more acacia we'll probably need uh like a sh two let's like two a double chest worth is probably a good amount to get or which will take a really long time but okay there ah there's some more in here i mean there's only like a couple stacks so i'll just start our next double chest i don't think there's anything else 
there's not anymore. So let me just put this in here. Um, oh, I didn't get that. Uh, but we can put the side... Wait, great. Oh, never mind. I, I put that in there because I didn't need it. Or I guess I thought I... I guess I just never converted it. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, let's see. Let's just place all of these down, and then they're just going to grow, and then we can just go on kind of a spree. So that's sort of what I did last time with these. But I'm just... Yeah, let's just do this. Because a lot of them will spawn. We kind of just do it like this. Place as many as we can. This isn't, like, the best way to do it. Probably more fishing methods, but... This is how I'm going to do it, and... It'll work fine, because I don't have that many bones to use bone meal on them. It's kind of just preparing it. Well, I, I don't really think I'll do two double, a double chest worth of acacia in this stream. But I want to see if any can actually grow. Like, because there's a lot of trees here, but I don't know how fast they grow. We could also go, like, out to, like, a... Like a place where there is acacia wood. There's some over there. But I think it's better if we just stay here. Uh -huh. We do wait, let me let me set up a double chest here for the acacia. Because this'll this'll be kind of a thing, I guess. Do I I could just I'm just gonna break you. I don't it doesn't need to be perfect there. And, oh, yep, one has already grown. That's the first one we placed down, also, which makes sense. And, yep, it'll kind of just start going. So, this is the start. I thought I had more. I guess, oh, I, th I put them in, like, one of these chests. Right? Okay. So, we're going to need to fill up this entire double chest. We may need a little... It's probably less than a double chest that we need. But it's good to get too much than too little. Because then we'll have to break some more. And it's always good to have leftover stuff, because I said earlier that I probably won't need acacia again, but I might. Never know. That's like only 17, that was two trees, so that's kind of my point, that it, that it doesn't give me a lot. And it is hard to break. But they do spawn in fast when you do it like this, when there's just so many trees. So, I'm going to get a full inventory's worth of acacia, and then I think I'm going to call it. Because this getting more acacia is going to take a very long time. I did kind of think this would happen, too. I kind of just started out with a decent amount. Like, just... Because you didn't... There's no point starting this project without any resources. But I didn't know how many we'd need, so... It's fine. We are, we do want to pick up the saplings too, so it keeps on spawning in, and it spawns faster because there's more. That's just how it works. I'm gonna clear out. I mean, yeah, that'll actually make it easier. This is gonna take quite a while, even to fill up just my inventory, and they're not like spawning in as much. They will. I just need to give it time. Okay, let me put this in this chest here. And there we go. Yeah, sapling. I actually thought something grew there, I just said the wrong thing. Or, I mean, I didn't think it grew, I just... whatever. It's fine. We are gonna get a lot of sticks from this, too. Um, none have really grown. Let me head over here and get start getting some, and wait for it to grow, because this is... These are loading in from over here. And it actually, it's going to be more productive to start actually doing that. Okay. The tall ones are, I would say, more annoying than the small ones. So then I have to actually work to get the top ones. And I don't want to leave, like, a tree floating. Because that's really annoying. Okay. Oh. I can make that chunk for them. They're probably a decent amount spawning in now, so it just kind of needs to wait for it to get started, and then they'll spawn in like a ton. 
Okay, that's probably enough time. Like, we're waiting. We can check back on our trees here. Oh, well, there you go. One grew just when I came back. It's like it, it was just like taking the day off, and then when they saw me, it grew. Which is kind of less than I thought it'd be, since there was kind of a spike earlier, but... By the time I finish breaking this one completely, uh, other trees will have grown. Yay, that's what I thought would happen. And these two are like right next to each other. And they're relatively small ones. Okay. And there we go. It's going to start the cycle of just heading back and forth. And whoa, one grew right next to it. It's kind of convenient. Okay. I said I was going to do an inventory's worth, but I think two rows is kind of where my goal will be for the rest of the stream. Because I actually just put it in the chest. There's no real point in putting it back in my inventory. I mean, I guess I could do that, but I think two rows is, is a simpler way to do it. And that might be more than my actual inventory since I have the cyan terracotta on me. Okay. more of spawned in? No. Well, I guess I can kind of look around, like, pick up the saplings while I'm waiting for a tree to spawn in. Because it's good to have just as many saplings as possible. I guess, because that makes sense. Yeah, like, this takes forever. I've, like, only gotten a stack, and I've been doing this for probably, like, five minutes for, for that stack. Because I have the stuff in the chest I just put in, but it just takes a really long time to break these trees. Okay, now that's pretty constant with the trees, so we won't have to wait for them to grow anymore. Which is good. Okay.
Okay, it's night, so I should sleep again. Now that it's walled off, it's like a mob pit. More like a mob flat terrain, yes. But yeah, we're back on the cycle here. This whole this whole project's just very grindy. Anything big in Minecraft takes a long time to do. Because it's usually repetitive. I don't know if there's actually any acacia, um, like, tree farms. I think there probably is, because you can probably, like, stop, like, how they grow and then just push them together. But they're definitely harder than just, like, oak or birch or, I don't know, any other ones. But I don't really want to do that right now. Because that, that would take a long time to do, and it's just kind of, this'll, I think this works just fine for what we're currently doing, because we don't need that much of this wood. I mean, we do need a lot, but we don't need, like, like, we're not making the entire wall out of this. If we're making the entire wall out of this, then I probably would see if there was a tree farm I can make with vacation. There probably is. I'd actually be a little surprised if there wasn't. Quite a few saplings here. That, that was like from one tree or maybe two. But yeah, the more trees you break, the more saplings there'll be, so it kind of just will make it get bigger and bigger how fast it goes. I'll still have to break the tree and that'll take the longest time here. progress here um it's nice when like the trees spawn like close together because then you don't have to go far to get them
Okay, I think I'm going to deposit the ones I currently have on me. Just to see how close we are to those two rows. And this is becoming a lot thicker with the acacia. And yeah, we're pretty much almost there. Like four or five more stacks. And uh, I think the thing we're going to want to do like in the next one is we're just going to place like a ton of saplings. I'm, like that's what I'm currently doing. And then I'll start like building, like continue working on there. And as I'm building, it's going to grow even thicker. And then I'll be much faster because when they're like right next to each other like this, this, this becomes a lot easier. It's more, yeah, it's more reliant on my like axe cutting skills than my going to walk over and break it. Which is nice. But it's just not too much more. And that's like, the two stacks might just be enough to finish off the wall around it which should be good because then I can finish let make sense to finish it off pretty much again so let me take a sleep yeah th I'm getting a lot more saplings though and it's getting a lot thicker and I kind of like just go off in certain areas and then it grows like thick in the other ones okay so there's like a lot over there It is, like, some of these are touching the edge, though, which is kind of confusing, since it, I'd be breaking the wall. Um, but uh, if you don't know what I'm currently doing, I'm working on, like, getting uh, acacia wood for, like, part of the texture of the my uh, castle I'm building here. And I need, like, a lot of it, so I'm kind of farming it right now. Just getting a little bit so I have some for the next stream. We're getting close. I only need like two more stacks. I mean, for now. I'm probably gonna need. Uh, I don't know. So I, I got a double chest up, but probably need like a chest and maybe half. Just uses up so much to like build this.
we need yeah we need like just one more stack and we'll be done with uh, this there's a lot of saplings over here since like the trees that I broke are falling now this might be a little close to the edge um, so let me go pick these up to make sure we got as much trees growing as possible Okay, that should be pretty much all we need to get the two rows. Let me just come around here and pick up all the saplings to make sure as many things grow for later. Okay, I think we might need to break just one more tree here. Just to make sure we can get to the two rows. And yeah, that's pretty much it here. Let me see, does it make two rows? Yep, and a little. That's nice. That'll be very helpful for building the rest of the five part of the wall, but we have made quite a lot of progress in this. We finished all the pillars, started working on the walls. It looks kind of cool with all the trees inside of it, uh, but uh, yeah, in the future streams we're going to continue working on this. Um, work on like the wall and uh, that's probably gonna take like quite a while to do but uh oh wait let me just check uh like we're like two hours and ten minutes in the stream so I'm probably gonna like um I can actually keep my inventory how it is I guess uh since we're just gonna be working on this again but uh this is gonna be the end of the stream guys um hope you guys enjoyed I guess and uh 